Good morning Nairobi Chapel Siokimao. My name is Purity Ashayo and I'm so excited to bring you the word of God this morning. I hope that you and your family are doing well. I hope that this message also will be an encouragement to you and a hope to you in this season. So before I go on, I'd like us to pray and just commit this session before God. Father, we thank you so much for your goodness, for your love, and for your mercy. Even Lord, as I am about to share your word this morning, I pray that you may use me. And I pray, my Father God, that every word that would come out of this mouth, Lord, that you'd be the one to um, even speak to your people at this time, Lord. I give you all the praise and I give you all the honor. In Jesus' name I pray it and believe. Amen. So um, today we are going to talk about uh, dependence on God. And I'm going to refer us to a um, text that probably has been famous. It's been talked about over and over. And I'd like us to read it together today. That is from John chapter 15, from verse 5 to verse 8. I am the vine. This is verse 5. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Verse 6, if anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. Verse 7, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you. Then lastly, verse 8, this is to my father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Now, I want us to just go through verse by, by verse. I know that this season probably has brought uncertainties to some of us probably. Uh, we've been in anxious situations. Some of us probably have gotten to a place where we are stressed and depressed. Um, and maybe it's probably due to the fact that there is so much that we have to process even in this season. And why I say this season is because as a country we are going through what I would call a lockdown in some of the counties. And probably your business or your job or whatever it is that you were planning to do in these few next months was dependent on moving around from one place to another. But then that has been brought to a halt. But I'd like to remind you this morning, I love that the word says, you know what, apart from me, you can do nothing. And I feel like that's the highest form of dependence of God. You know, if probably you've, you've thought about, this is one goal that I have. This is one dream that I have. Maybe you're in school and you're wondering, when will I finish? When will I graduate? You know, we are in different stages of our lives. And this season has brought us to a stage where we have to adjust to different um, situations in our lives. We have to adjust to a different routine, adjust to a different way of life. Probably if you are on a certain budget, now you have to um, uh, size down a bit. Probably you are on a certain routine, waking up so early, going to work, and now you have to work from home. Probably you are in a space where you had to travel from one place to another, and now that has been brought to a halt. But I'd like to remind us today, I love that it says, I am the vine and you are the branches. I don't know whether you would think of a tree. And if one branch is cut out, it can't really depend on the tree anymore for its nutrients, for water, for it to grow. And that is what God is telling us to do this morning, to depend on him. Aside from anxieties, aside from fears, aside from any form of um, any form of any part of us that feels you know what we are in control we can do this that God is telling us you know what let go surrender and give it to me because apart from me you can do nothing and indeed it's true <laughs> we can't do anything without God we need him we need him each and every day now when we go to verse 6 it says if anyone does not remain in me he is like a branch that is thrown away and with us such branches are picked up then thrown into the fire and burned. Now, I don't know if you can see this illustration. I'm just trying to imagine, yeah? If I'm not depending on God, and if I'm not trusting Him, you know, He says in His word in Proverbs 3, verse 5 to 6, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. 
I remember reading a story of this man who tried some tried to do something in so many years. I think it was probably in 10 years. And there's just one thing he needed to do to depend on God in his project. And you know what happened? Whatever it is that he had tried to do for those 10 10 15 years, he was able to do it in just 3 days. And I don't know where you are at. Um Maybe you are seated there and you've tried to to do a certain project. Maybe it's been in your dream, in your goals for this year, you know, or your wishes for this year. And you've not truly depended on God on it. Probably in this case you've not acknowledged him in it. You've probably not put him first in it. You've not put him at the center in it. And now it's crumbling down. But remember what God is saying here. what it says in his word here if you do not remain in me you are like a branch that is thrown away and with us i wouldn't want us to get to a point where we are going around around a certain space or around a certain project or around a certain situation for so long and be thrown away or probably it just dies like that you don't know how it happened <laughs> but everything just seems to be in a shambles but what 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 should we now do we go back to verse 5 that we depend on him because you know what every time we walk with god he ask us to do something and we obey but remember again when we disobey it's quite costly because one of the things that disobedience does is it pulls us away from god it makes us be so distant with god but then in this case here We don't want to wither. We don't want to get to a place where we are frustrated. We don't know what to do. We we are looking for answers in certain books or certain um we even go to some people to search for these answers and maybe these people are not giving us the right answers. Maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a family member and these answers are not there. You know, maybe you are asking when will this uh lockdown end so that our lives can move on. But what what are we to do at this time? we are to turn back to god for answers not to human beings but to god so that he can give us direction because the one direction that you need right now will put you be aligned and adjusted to what god is doing so i pray that you would learn if there is something that you've been disobedient to god or maybe this time god is telling you slow down Let's read the word together. Let's pray together. You know, let me teach you a few things that you need in your life for the next step. Obey that. It's a simple instruction. It may feel as though you know what I need to do this, you know. Some of us we are so probably we want to to make sure that we are providing for our families, you know. And there is that rush that can come. There is that um desire to keep going, keep going, keep going. But God probably is saying slow down. and that's what i desire and i pray for your life that you would slow down and just obey because disobedience is quite costly it will cost you a lot and yet you'd have just obeyed now verse 7 if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be given to you i love this verse and i know probably for some of us we are like ah uh, this verse has said whatever i ask i'll get it <laughs> and and for for most of us that is true but i'd like us to look at it from a different perspective when we have remained in god as he has said that apart from me you can do nothing when we hold on to that hope hold on to jesus one of the things that he does is you become aligned to him you become adjusted to what he desires of you to do because again one of the things that you can do when you have a relationship with God and i mean a relationship here is that you're reading your word you're praying you're desiring more of him you have a hunger and a thirst for him you then become aligned to his work you then become aligned to what he desires of you to do and one of the things that i love is that you cannot stay where you are and go with God at the same time so what does God do he he makes sure that he draws you to himself and so you would know you would be so aligned and so adjusted to him and you'd be able to hear him so clearly so if there's something that you've probably been desiring he 
he makes sure that your desires are aligned to what he desires of you to do and so somehow maybe there's something that you're desiring that he feels no maybe it's not time then probably he'd be able to answer you and tell you okay stay there keep praying keep waiting because i'm gonna do it one one day one time and that and this is what this verse is saying that whatever you ask that he will give it to you now that you have communion with god you have you are in that space where you are depending on him you are trusting in him you, are, you know him you are worshiping him you acknowledge him then whatever it is that you would ask of him indeed he will give it to you according to his will and i would like to encourage you what is that one thing that maybe you are trusting god for and maybe you've been depending on your own strength on your own wisdom on your own abilities on your own gifts and god is telling you you know what turn back come back to me my son come back to me my daughter because yes whatever you ask in my name i shall give it to you however why don't you come and and communion with me get to know me you know let us let us reason together through the things of life that you're going through that stress that frustration that anxiety he's saying to us come you know let it be that 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 we are doing things as we hold on to the father and i believe that you know what every part of us that may be aching or hurting or in a space of desperation some of us have lost loved ones in this season or are in hospital and we are asking god god what is going on why is this person not getting healed but i'd like to encourage you today that when we depend on him he's able able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we could ever ask think or imagine and so in the state that you are in i'd like to encourage you that whatever situation that you're in turn back to the father it's very easy to depend on other things but let's solely solely not have plan b c d e f g h but the only plan and that is just the way the truth and the life is through the father the son jesus christ and his holy spirit and the holy spirit which would help us in such situation and lastly this is to my father's glory verse 8 that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples i believe that whatever it is that god does in us it's not by our own strength by our own might it's by his power it's by his might and everything that we do or he desires or he does in us or works in us he desires that that glory goes back to him and so it shouldn't be us getting the glory when we depend on god we don't get the glory that we are the ones who are depending on god and now um i have done this and now this is what will happen no it's god who does these things in us and so lastly when he saying that you may bear much fruit i believe that god desires that we be fruitful we be productive we get to a space where there's there's healing there's abundance and that is what he's saying that we may bear much fruit that we may give more that we may get to a place where we share what god is telling us from his word or in the season that you're in that you're able to share with your friends and encourage them that is bearing much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples as followers of Jesus and if you are a follower of Jesus knowing that you are saved or you've gotten to know him as your own personal savior then you become his disciple and that means that we have to show others that around us through love and through giving of ourselves to them in showing them what God is doing and working in our lives So let's not keep quiet when God heals a loved one. Let's not keep quiet when when you have solely depended on God and there is a breakthrough in your life. Share it. You know, probably there is a situation that you've been through and you've gone through it and God has totally surprised you. God has totally put you in a different space and now you are in a space where you're telling people that you know what I've depended on this one God how sweet it is to trust in the name of the Lord and now I can tell others of what God is doing so I don't know where you are at today um but I pray that you would solely depend on God in this season it's hard sometimes to depend on God 
especially when the situation you you want that situation to be fixed at that time you know you don't want to wait um, but there is a reward and there is a promise that he's giving us here that whatever it is that you would ask him to do that he would do it and so thank you so much for joining us today i pray that you would or if you do not know him as your personal savior i pray that you would come back to him get a word of god or just get get to even go to a room and just tell god you know what i invite you to into my life that you may come through for me god and that i may know you and truly truly seek you and worship you and i assure you that he will come and visit you because he loves us and he desires that we connect with him so i'd like to pray for you whatever space that you're in even as i end would we pray father we thank you so much for your word this morning thank you my father even that you're reminding us that we have to depend on you you're reminding us that we have to trust in you you're reminding us that we have to hear from you that we may obey you and here you speak so clearly into our situations oh god that we may know what it is that we need to do and today lord i sense in my heart and pray for someone out there lord who's been trusting in you for so many years and wondering what is it that they are doing wrong lord i pray my father god that you may visit them and you may show them that you are there and you've constantly been working in their lives and sometimes lord my father god they just have to grasp on you a bit more to depend on you a bit more that you may speak to them and speak into their situations oh lord i pray for those who've lost loved ones lord or for those whose loved ones are in hospitals my father god and they are wondering what to do right now father i pray that their hearts would depend on you at this season at this time lord that you'd give them hope that you'd comfort them that you'd cover them lord that you'd provide for them and that you would even my father god surround them with your love and your goodness because you are a good father and so lord even i pray for those of us who are in Nairobi Chapel Siokima oh god who need you right now oh god because they do not know how to depend on you father i pray that the parts of them that have been hard or been had broken or gotten into spaces where they are wondering what to do um where to go how to seek help you know i've trusted in this god who's failed me before what do i do father god would you visit them afresh and would you show yourself to them lord would you draw yourself to them my father god that they may see you in a different light oh god and once again start to seek your face and get to know you and to worship you and to depend on you because you are the one true god and so lord i worship you i exalt you and i give you all the praise and i give you all the honor for that one soul or two souls lord my father god that would want to come to you today oh god and want to make you my father god their lord over their lives father today i pray and you may prepare their hearts to invite you in it oh god and that they may seek your face oh god today that they would just speak that one word of asking you to let them into their lives lord and that their lives would never be the same again and so lord i thank you i worship you and i exalt your holy name because indeed you are a good good father and i worship you in jesus name i prayed believing and trusting in jesus name amen and amen thank you so much for joining us today thank you i pray that this word has ministered to you i pray that it has blessed you and i pray that even you can be able to share it to your family members your friends whoever needs this word and you feel you know what i know that one person who would want to listen to this word share it that we may be able they may also be able to be encouraged in this season have a lovely day ahead of you and i pray that god would cover you through the rest of the day and the activities that you're going to do today